Can I start by thanking the returning officer and all the counting staff? It's been a very, very long night, and um, so thank you to you for, for all staying on uh, to finish this job um, here today. Thank you. And um, let me start by saying to my political opponents in Westminster, congratulations, and in particular to thank the other candidates, but to congratulate the new MP for Morley and Outward, Andrea Jenkins. Andrea, you have fought a really decent campaign and you've done so in a very uh, good way. And I know you'll work really hard to be the Member of Parliament for Morley and Outward and you'll have the support of the constituency to do that very important job. So thank you for the way in which you've conducted this uh, campaign. I'd like to um, thank all of my campaign team who've worked uh, seven days a week for five years and um, my agent Neil Dawson but all of the team um, it's the best campaign team and um, I'm hugely grateful. I'm just sorry we couldn't quite um, do enough to repeat what we did in 2010. And uh, it's been a great honour to be the Member of Parliament for Morley and Outward and before that for, for Normanton. And um, I have found it a you know, great privilege and we've done some important things to represent individuals um, in times of difficulty or hardship but also to make advances in this constituency and in Westminster. Any personal um, disappointment I have at this result is as nothing compared to the sense of sorrow I have at um, the result that Labour has achieved across the United Kingdom tonight in Scotland, but also in England and in Wales, and the sense of concern I have about um, the future. We will now face uh, a five years where um, questions will arise about the future of our union, about whether or not we can stay as a member of the European Union and fight for jobs and investment, whether we can make sure we secure our national health service at a time of public spending cuts. And those are real concerns to me and to many people across the United Kingdom. Uh, even on this very difficult night, I would just like to say I've been proud to be a Labour and Cooperative Member of Parliament. And we have always been a party which has been internationalist because we believe we've solved problems by working with other countries to solve them. We've always been a party which believed in the union because the pooling and sharing of risk which comes from our union underpins justice and fairness. We've always been the party who founded the National Health Service and we'll do everything we can to secure the future of the National Health Service. Even on this difficult night, I'm sure the Labour Party will emerge in the coming weeks and months more united and more determined. And in the next few years, I think more than ever, we will need in Parliament and across the country a Labour Party absolutely determined to stand up for working people in this constituency and in our country. I'm confident Labour will be back. Thank you very much.